Um, the biggest value was self-belief in myself. Nothing's impossible. Uh, I can do anything I want to do. Uh, widen my whole horizons. And uh, it also physically uh, showed me that I could work around my uh, limitations and um, uh, get out there and be a member of the community, the same as anybody else. If the, uh, if the school was to close, the poor, the poor uh, pupils that is out at the minute, they would be losing out uh, uh, very much because they would not got the same uh, um, uh, uh, training in, in overcoming their disability in any other special school or in any other uh, form of education. And that would be the biggest uh, downflow all to them uh, in, their, in their life uh, for going forward. It's no good looking at the short term uh, monetary ga ga savings. You need to look at uh, long-term monetary savings and by keeping the school there uh, you will be saving money in the long term because you will not need to put them people into day centres or etc etc. Uh, I, uh, when I was not at uh, Buddy Bear School, I went to special school. I am the only member out of uh, the special school of 20 disabled children or pupils that is in full time work. And that is because I had, uh, of a self belief I learned at, at Buddy Bear School. I, my whole belief was there was nothing my, my mates uh, was doing that I couldn't do. So that's uh, the whole uh, five, six years ago, the rest of the boys was in property development and I joined them. Yeah. I have said this a number of times. Conductive education is not a miracle cure, but for children and people with cerebral palsy it's the best that's available at this minute in time and that is why it's very important that the school is funded and the school is kept open.